absolutely beautiful, wasn't it? Still with me, Howard Goodall. What was Handel actually like as a character? Well, he was very famous in his lifetime, and lots of people knew him. He was very sociable. But I think it's true to say he probably also came across as a bit of a grumpy old so-and-so. Um, I don't know if we'd all want to have dinner with him, but he was a very... The interesting thing about him was he was grumpy and he was uh, very concerned to get things right, like a lot of creative people, um, but he had a great deal of care for other people. And I think that uh, later on in his life, as he got very interested in charitable work, I think we see quite a, a, a sense of Handel really caring about the world. And it's quite interesting because Charles Jennings, the man who wrote, who assembled the words for Messiah, um, he's, he was rather dismissive of Handel's efforts. He didn't really like it very much. And he said, oh, he's messed up my words. He hasn't set them very well. And he may have done a fine entertainment. And Handel said, um, entertainment? I thought my audience would get much more out of it. I thought we'd make them better people which is sort of what Handel, I think, really wanted to do. I think he wanted to make the world a better place. He cared deeply, didn't he? Yes, he did. And he was very associated. He was one of the people who founded the Foundling Hospital in London, which was a charity for orphan children. And, and he put on performances of his works and royalties of his works, went towards uh, the, the maintenance of that place. It's interesting because quite a few singers that you talk to, they feel really good when they're singing Messiah. I don't know how our choristers are feeling here, but it does make you feel uplifted. So actually what he was going for, uh, he got it in the end. Yes, he did. I mean, I don't think any composer can guess how popular a piece is going to become like Messiah. I mean, he couldn't have imagined what had happened after his death, because he died only uh, you know, a few years later. He couldn't have imagined what a success it would become and how it would become, have so much meaning for so many people around the world. We're going to hear he trusted in God next. Um, so how does this fit in within the Messiah? Well, it's interesting because at this point in the story, he's got people uh, who are being cynical about Jesus Christ. They're saying, well, if he really is the Son of God, why doesn't he save himself from being crucified? And so they're being sort of clever clogs. And Handel has written quite a clever clogs sort of piece of music with lots of interweaving lines and all the altos, tenors and basses are doing music on top of each other and inter interweaving in a kind of clever musical way. But being Handel, it isn't just a clever portrayal of these people saying, oh, well, if he was, if he was really your father, he'd come and save you. Actually, it turns into a wonderful piece of music because Handel can't stop himself. He can't write a bad piece of music. Uh, so that's really what we're going to be hearing. Thank you very much, Howard. Let's hear Handel the clever clogs. This is He Trusted in God. 